we're going to start uh, building our mask today. And in this method, I am using uh, these plaster wraps, and I'm starting by cutting them into strips. And now, whenever I apply a piece of that plaster wrap, I'm going to dip it in the water and then try to sheet off that excess. This is the most important step. Do not skip this step if you are building a mask on your face. You need to grease up using either Vaseline or petroleum jelly. All of your hair, put a layer of, uh, of grease also over your face, but mostly your hair. You don't want the plaster to dry and pull out your hairs. Uh, it could be very uncomfortable. So make sure that you apply a good amount of uh, that petroleum jelly to your face uh, in order for the mask to come off easily. I can't stress that enough. So you will need a, a partner to help you with this. And uh, once you dip the plaster into the water, it becomes activated. Um, then use your fingers to sheet off as much of that excess water as you can. This will allow the mask to dry faster and you won't have to uh, sit around for so long with it drying on your face. So build up those, uh, those layers of plaster wrap. Um, we're starting here going around the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And we're going to get as close to those parts as we can without covering them up so uh, I can still breathe and uh, I can still uh, blink my eyes a little bit. I think the optimal, optimal uh, amount to go for is two layers. Um, this uh, allows the mask to be strong and it won't break or crack, uh, especially when you're trying to get it off your face, which will be easy. Uh, if you've applied that petroleum jelly, it'll uh, give a nice seal to protect your hair and your skin. and. Uh, and the mask won't cling to anything. So go ahead and leave your your mouth and your nostrils and your eyes uh, uncovered and uh, if you want to cover up those parts we can come back in a little bit later once it's off the face and uh, add a little bit more layers of that plaster wrap and uh, cover up those holes if that's what you want Thankfully, I've uh, greased up my eyebrows so they won't be pulled out when I take this mask off. And leaving me uh, little eye holes. And uh, the gauze comes sort of textured, but the more that you smooth that out uh, with your fingers, the smoother it gets. And you can almost get rid of that texture and just have a nice smooth uh, plaster finish if you want that. So once the mask is uh, complete, it really doesn't take too long to dry. As, as soon as you reach up and you feel that it has hardened, it'll still feel... Um, damp but you can feel that uh, it's 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 set and it's hard you can gently try to remove it if it feels like that mask is breaking you might need to wait a little longer um, but 
once it's generally feeling hard to the touch, it should be good to remove, and uh, it really shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to feel that way. There you have it, plaster mask.